Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Calradia. Now, when we left off, we had just arrived in Orkish territory, and we are now about to take on Dungreem Fortress. I have roamed around a little bit. I've seen what kind of units they have in each of their armies, and obviously that is referring to the vassals that we are going to be inevitably fighting. Now, the one thing that I'm a little bit worried about is the fact that there are, I think, two vassals from the Rydus Majocracy, and they have defected to the Bleeding Throat Clan. Now, one of them is, I believe, around here, maybe patrolling between these two fortresses, not entirely sure. And then there's one very close by. There's one here, I believe, or around there, at least. And I was pursuing, as you may see, War Chief Arlsturg. I was really wanting to take him on in a field battle, because of course he does have undead units, and we are, of course, exceptionally good against those. With our varying amounts of Blazing Hand Inquisitors and infantry, of course, 24 Inquisitors now, to be exact. So that is actually very nice. However, we are going to be speaking to a veteran right here. And we're going to be leveling up his strength once again. He only has one point to go until he is able to get yet another point in Power Strike. So I thought to myself, why not? Let's do it. And we are going to be improving his throwing skill just in case he decides to use some magic at some point in the future. And I believe that is it. Now, the one thing that I'm a little bit worried about, as you can see, is our morale. Our morale is having a great deal of difficulty right now. It is very close to being below average, and as you know, that means a lot of our units are going to begin leaving, which is not going to be a very fun sight to see, that's for sure. So, without further ado, let us head into Dungreem Fortress. Lord Rias's party has joined the battle on our side. I was not aware that anyone was around this area, and I was just about to say, thank goodness it's not a siege tower, otherwise... I probably would have rethought things quite a bit. Aha! Here we go! The Kingdom of Rorox has been eliminated. That is exactly what I love to see. Oh my goodness, Lord Rias is actually joining us. I actually wonder how many units he has, but we will see in a very short amount of time. And what kind of layout are we going to be facing? Okay, wait a minute. Oh, he's a Swadian. Okay. I did not realize I had anyone next to me. Did you see anyone next to me on the world map there? I did not see anyone. That is a rather peculiar coincidence, is it not? Okay, we're not going to be charging anyone in just yet. I need to make preparations for our archers to deal significant damage to the enemies. And we will hopefully not lose too many units in the pro Whoa, my goodness. In the process, I was about to say, but l what? Look. Oh, my... Look at the Diani units. They are absolutely decimating the population here. And as you can probably see... Okay, yeah. We are just going to be charging straight on in. There is no need to wait. No need to wait whatsoever. We are just going to be charging straight on in there. I'm going to be healing myself. Hopefully not being headshot along the way. There is a lot of sound going on, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh, let us bless everyone and give them bravery as well, just in case one of the enemy mages decides to use some sort of fear effect. Now, they do have a lot of orcish units, as would be expected. However, I am a little bit worried about the dark mages that Warchief Arolsturg actually has at his disposal here. If he is going to be using them to good effect, then I have a feeling that we're going to be in for some trouble. Whoa! Okay, do you see that? Do you see Frudak? And you see what he has in his hand? Oh yes, that is the Maul of the Titans. I am going to hope that he's actually going to get in range this time around, because, as you know, last few times that we've attempted to see him do some damage, he has not been able to, because, of course, he's been taken out too fast, or something along those lines. Now, I could be using my Holy Avenger against these mummy master archers, but I thought to myself, well, why would I want to when the scimitar is so incredible and it is a siege, and using these things against... Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Do we have dwarves? Please don't tell me I have dwarves. Wait a minute. 
No, I don't think I do. No, there are no dwarves. There is just a slight blockage going on here. Not entirely sure what's going on. Wait a minute. Oh, it's one of... Uh, it's one of our vassal's units. As you can... No, wait a minute. It's not one of our vassal's units. It's one of the enemy's units that's been charmed. Oh my. That's not too good. Okay, wait a minute. Can I not command him? I'm trying to get it. Oh, no, I can't control him. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, that might be a little bit tricky to deal with, but I think we're still doing a reasonable job, although it would be great if we could advance into the keep. Well, hmm. I'm actually wondering what I could do here. Okay, wait a second. I think I know what to do. Let's tell everyone to hold position over here move them back and then get more units inside there we go oh yes this is working and then we can tell everyone to charge in once again and then they won't be stuck is that correct i think it might be i think it might be that is very good okay so the one thing we need to worry about in my opinion is still those dark mages but i don't think hmm are they still alive that is the issue are they still alive? If they are still alive, then we still have to worry about them, but otherwise... I Oh my goodness, okay. This is also something that we need to worry about. The orcish affinity for throwing weapons. Oh my goodness, let me go in this little house here. Thank you very much. Well, it's technically a stable, I do believe, but still. I'm going to use it as a little house, because, of course, we are actually a little bit scared of these orcish skirmishers. They are very powerful indeed. I'm hopefully going to be able to get by here without taking too much damage. And, wow, did I seriously just do 135 damage? That is insane. But I am now going to be... Oh, no. Oh, no. Heal. Quickly. Yes. Oh, that was very close. That was incredibly close. Open gate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, I opened it. How dare you? How dare you try to interrupt me? There we are. I opened the gate. So now hopefully some of our units will be able to exit. I mean, enter through there. Exit. Yeah, let's make a swift exit through the gift shop. Oh my goodness. No. Okay. Come on, we can do this. Okay, these are mages. I don't know why I'm being so careful. They don't really do that much damage. I can just go straight through them. Thank you very much. And there's nothing else here to eliminate, so I think we should be okay. Have I told my archers to charge in yet? Yes, I do believe I have. That's good. And where is the gate? It's over there. Oh, okay. So if we could, we could have gone through. Whoa. Yes. Be careful. Be careful, veteran. We do not want to be taken out a little bit too early for my liking. Okay, come on, take that guy out. I do believe this has now fallen to the likes of Sanctus Bellicus. I am very hopeful that it has, but you never know. They may prove to be rather tricky. We don't have a shield, but we have a javelin sticking in our stomach, which is obviously never a good sign. And have we eliminated... Ah, there is one left. One enemy remains. And which one it is... Around here? Isn't it? It must be. Aha! It is a Dark Mage. Well, if this guy can take me out before I take him out, then props to him. But if he cannot, then he is about to... Ah! Oh, how dare you, Elven Hawkeye! Oh my goodness. Just when I was about to take him out, of course. And the Necromancer was beaten to the punch right there. Okay, so you gain 13 renown and 53 morale. A very nice gain indeed. We did lose 9 blazing hand units, which is not a good sign really. Considering orcs are evil units, it would be great to have some holy units on our side just in case. But as you see, we did take out 357 units. Absolutely insane right there. I do appreciate that. And now War Chief Arosturg is potentially going to be joining us, but I will be letting him go. And we do get a couple of Blazing Hand units to replace the ones we lost. I actually am very approving of that. I do like that a lot. That's great. So what are we going to be doing? I suppose we could take some Kurgit Shaman. I don't know whether we should really, because we're still at war against them technically. So that would injure 
our morale rather considerably. But for now, I do believe we are just going to be heading onward. I am going to be taking some Ravagers and Bear Warriors. I believe we will have the opportunity to take more of them in the future, so I don't need to take too many prisoners right now. And now, this is when it gets a little bit tricky. I do believe we are going to actually be giving this to Ginger Axe, because I believe I saw a message stating he was doing battle down in the south of the map, and if he is indeed that close, then it would be very nice for him to come and join us. So let's do that. Okay, so Rogi's gone down to 55. Lord Gavid is also at 52. Okay, well, I think we should be fine. He's placed a couple of dwarves in there as well. I do appreciate the dwarven units, of course. Now, let's see here. We can level up another five Blazing Hand Inquisitors. Very nice indeed. Another one Elven Hawkeye. And, of course, a camp follower too. So that is the first fief of the orcs to fall before us, and hopefully we will soon see the elimination of the Kurgit Khanate. As you can see, one of them has actually just defected once again, and ah, that fellow. This is the guy that is preventing the Kurgit Khanate, in my opinion, from disbanding. That is a little bit worrying, I have to admit. If he decides to continue doing that, then I'm going to be in a pretty bad spot. And Lord Coventim was defeated in battle. Now that is rather impressive, to say the least. I have no idea how that was even possible, considering he's actually got a very large army. I'm a little bit worried about that now. Ah, no, never mind. We don't need to worry about that Kurgit Carnate vassal. As you can see, Lord Chalker has renounced his allegiance to the Carnate and joined Sanctus Bellicus. I do appreciate that quite a bit. That is wonderful. And now... Let us see. I believe we have rested for long enough. We are just going to be telling Nizar to be quiet and to move on. And we are going to be moving on ourselves as well. So, mercenary mages and a couple of huntresses as well. Now, Jeremus has advanced. Hopefully, he will have some good news for us. We are going to be giving some more first aid and more intelligence to him. I'm still wondering whether I should improve his strength so that he can wear better armor, but for now, I think intelligence will be okay, as we can then put another point into magic defense. And that is always a good thing, in my opinion. So, let's see. There we go. Thank you very much. And we have an Orc Patrol here. Oh my goodness, they do actually have some Blazing Hand units. We're going to try and do some damage to them. Ah, and we have now just received our weekly budget. And we have made a profit of 3,000 dinars. Oh yes, that sounds like a... Oh my goodness. That sounds like a very good thing, I was about to say, until I saw the tax inefficiency. 36,000! Really? 36,000, that is absolutely insane. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to be doing some damage to these guys, if we can catch up to them. 225 versus 170, but do bear in mind they have primarily mounted units. So, we are going to have to get into position incredibly quickly. And if that means staying here and holding position, then that is what we will do. Unfortunately, I'm having a couple of frame drops here, because of course we are having to load in the elven armor. So let's get prepared. Oh my goodness, we are not prepared, perhaps. 42 units against a huge amount of mounted units. 42 infantry, should I say. Okay, now, no, don't take out my unicorn. How dare you. Oh, they're not actually doing any damage. Okay, I am a little bit confused. I did distract many of them, so that is actually quite a good thing. Now let's just tell our infantry to charge in. We are also obviously going to be telling our cavalry. And we do have a protector unit. And I think that is actually... Who is that? High Priest of Moradin. Ah, that's one of the dwarves. Of course it is. And we do have a redeemed. And that is, I think, Jeremus who just got taken out. Ah, that is unfortunate. I would have loved to have placed him at the back of the map to prevent him from taking any damage whatsoever, because, of course, we do need his surgery skill to be able to survive these bouts with our opponents. Now, as you can probably see, actually, a very interesting development. We are actually dealing so much damage with the Holy Avenger, thanks to our high honor skill, that 
we are really taking them out in one hit, even if they have heavy armor on. So I can imagine that anyone that comes across us, especially on the fields of battle, is going to face the wrath of the Holy Avenger. As you can see, look at that. 37 points of holy damage. Usually it doesn't do that much. It only does maybe 20, so I feel like the honor rating that we've gained over the last... Hmm. How many episodes has it been since we last got the Holy Avenger? I think maybe 20? 20 episodes? Perhaps? I'm not entirely sure about that, but whatever the number may be, it seems as though we are doing a significant increase in damage when it comes to the Holy side of things. That's for sure. Holy honor rating, Batman. Yes. I had to. I know. <laughs> oh, there's another unicorn over here. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is a very white unicorn. Goodness me. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take this guy out. Yeah, there we go. Take him out. Now, the one thing that we need to do rather swiftly is eliminate them very, very quickly indeed, because otherwise they will decide to roam around without any thought as to our plans, our grand scheme to take out the orcs. As you can see, this guy is actually routing right now. I don't know whether I should really even bother chasing him, but we might want to. There we are. Take him out. And there it is. One of them was already successful in his routing operations, but thankfully enough, we were able to get that other guy. So there we are. We can just send those guys in there and take them out. So we do have a couple of... Oh, no. We have a couple of units here. And I would need to get rid of a couple just to make space. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Let's see. What can we remove? Wow, our army is actually really quite nice. I am liking it a lot, the particular composition we're using right here. I am going to be moving a couple of mercenary mages out just to get some of these infantry and these squires or footmen. No, I think the squires we should take, probably. And there we have it. That is all we can take right now. And we are going to be taking a couple of things there. That's not too bad. And so... Where are we going to be heading to next? Well, we have War Chief Bastigior. That is not really how he pronounces his name. I am probably sure about that. But nevertheless, let us make our way over to him. How fast is he moving? Well, he's moving at 4.0, and we are moving at 4.4. And this is exactly the problem. These guys come out of the woodwork in a flash. You do not see them, and they see you. It is incredibly fast, so I'm a little bit worried about seeing what we can do. Aha, here we go. Okay, so this guy wants to fight us by himself. He must be quite confident in his abilities, but as you see, he actually does not have... Oh, he does. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I actually thought that he had no elven Hawkeyes, but he has eight. Hmm. Well, that's worrying. That is quite worrying. No wonder he is wanting to attack us. I really wanted to take out that other fellow. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do our best, shall we? 220. So five of our units have been knocked unconscious and 162 against us. But they, of course, do have quite a few Alvin Hawkeyes. But we have even more than they do. So let us make good use of them, shall we? Let's try to get on the highest possible advantage here. And again, a couple of frame drops, but that is to be expected with the elven armor. And let's just see here. I'm going to go ahead a little bit and see if our units can actually make any headway here. Okay. Mm, I'm going to say no. Oh, I've been slowed. I have been slowed. As you can see, my horse has been slowed by the enemies. Okay. Yeah, they must have added a couple of extra spells since the last time I played a spell caster. And one of them is, of course, to slow enemy units' movement speed, which seems to actually be a very effective way to reduce the effectiveness of cavalry. Yes, effective way to reduce the effectiveness of cavalry. Aha, uh -huh. yes, that's very good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I think we're actually going to want to charge everyone in here, apart from, of course, our archers. 
I'm going to be healing them as much as I can. The one problem I'm foreseeing right here is if we stay at range, we are going to lose. So I have a feeling that going in here right now... Uh, yes. Going in here right now is going to be the reason why we will succeed. That's what I was going to say, but it appears as though that will probably not be the case right now. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, she interrupted them. That is excellent. Thank you very much, Unicorn Rider. That is great. Okay, so this is going to be the issue here. I am behind enemy lines. Oh, no. On one hand, it's very good. But on the other, I am by myself against an overwhelming amount of elven units. Oh, I do have a couple of cavalry actually helping me out here, so that's rather nice, I have to admit. Now, we are wanting to take out this guy as well. Thank you very much. And, oh, wow, they have an orc in their team? Okay, that's... Well, equal opportunities, I suppose. <laughs> that's not too bad. Usually elves and orcs will not work too well together, but... Okay, who am I to judge? We have silver golems and Diani units and Swadian pasteurs... And even, well, we don't have Rodok Priests, do we? But we have some Dwarven Priests, and even some Elven ones as well. So, yeah. We are all about the equal opportunities by the looks of things. Okay, so let's just make sure that we take out these guys. There we go. And this guy has a huge sword, which I need to be careful of. Elven Knight. Ooh, okay. That is a little bit tricky. And I just healed myself for nothing, because one of our other units actually healed us. So that is very nice of them. And we have absolutely destroyed them. As you can probably see, though, we have lost a considerable amount of our units. And three of them have actually routed. I am not pleased to see that. I am definitely not pleased to see that. What's going on? Oh, my. Okay, take out that guy as well. And five units remain. And that's when we receive reinforcements. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit of a waste. Probably not going to be getting anywhere near. There we are. Take that one out, and I do believe there are only two remaining, and hopefully our archers will be able to take it out. If at all possible, that would be rather nice. Are they? Are they able to take it out? We are waiting with bated breath, as the results of this battle are for a foregone conclusion, and... It appears as though that is it. Yes, there we are. Elven Stalker taken out by the Sword Sister. Thank you very much for that. I do appreciate that, so I don't have to walk to the edge of the map. <laughs> and there we have it. Okay, so this guy absolutely hates us. I'm actually thinking, shall we take him prisoner? Because if we allow him to go th free, then we're going to be having difficulties with his units. As you saw there, it was actually quite tricky. Hmm. Considering he has such a low relation with us already, should we just do that? Or should we let him go, take him prisoner again, and then let him go again to try to make amends? No. We're going to be taking him prisoner, I do believe. That seems like a good idea to me. And we're going to get some elven guardians, some sorceresses, as well as some knights. Thank you very much. And, whoa, okay, some rather good loot, I have to admit. And now, I do believe we are going to be attempting... Oh, no, that's that one. Oh... I don't want to take Stithla Castle or Fortress because, yeah, that's where we were defeated pretty badly before. Hmm. Okay, well, without further ado, I am going to be heading back to Dungrim Fortress and resting up a little bit. As you can see, we actually lost nine units from the fight previously. That's a little bit unfortunate, but we are still, of course, waiting for our vassals to travel across the land and maybe come to assist us. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.